In this morning's Health Watch, getting the most out of your medicine cabinet. If it's overflowing with creams and pill bottles like everyone's is, you can get that clutter under control. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with a couple of items that you should have in there that kind of do pull double duty. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. Mine's a disaster Mine, also. <laughs> my husband is like, can you please clean this up? So we're going <laughs> to exactly. show people how to do this. But first, let's talk about things we should have in there, like right. baking soda. I use it in my fridge. I use it to cook, but I've never heard of it in your medicine cabinet. Yeah, well, it can belong in the medicine closet and actually can serve some double duty because we know that dentists, you know, you look at a lot of toothpaste, you'll see it contains baking oh, soda. Yes. Very good for oral hygiene, dental well-being, but it can also be mixed with water and used to soothe rashes and some bug bites. You just mix about three parts baking soda to one part water, make a little mixture of it, put it on, allow it to dry, and really is very, very soothing. All right, number two, these nasal sprays. Obvious use. Is there something beyond the obvious? Well, actually, most people are familiar with these if they have an upper respiratory infection or a cold for decongestant. The same medication that works to clear your passages when you're sick actually can also help stop nosebleeds. Now, basic way that you can stop nosebleeds are just to pinch your nose and apply direct pressure for about 10 minutes. But if the nosebleed does not stop, you can squirt four sprays of a basic over-the-counter nasal spray up into your nose, and that medication will help constrict those blood vessels. If the nosebleed doesn't stop in 30 minutes, obviously, then you want to speak to your doctor. Good tip. Okay, Aloe, this reminds me of being a kid having a sunburn going out and cutting a leaf and putting it all over exactly now natural aloe is fantastic maggie and you can also get aloe juice at certain health food stores obviously if you live in a tropical climate you can get the real plant and keep that right, in your house right. you can actually break do. the leaf put it on your skin even around the mouth that can help soothe canker sores the aloe vera gel you have to be careful of it's not meant for oral consumption but also if you have external sores around your mouth sores on your skin you can definitely apply the aloe and it can be really, really soothing. We've talked about how less is more when it comes to your medicine cabinet. What should people go in there today and throw out? Well, the most important thing is prescription medications, really. They are not meant to be stored forever. So you want to check the expiration date. And if you do need to discard them, there are now take-back programs. You can get rid of them. Don't flush them down mm -hmm. the toilet. But you want to ma really make sure that what's in there needs to be in there. Same thing with over-the-counter medications. If it's discolored, if it smells, get rid of it. And organize the medicine closet. So if you need something in emergency, you can grab it. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you, doctor. You bet,